What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going on? We cracking in. We cracking in. We cracking in. What's going on, family? How y'all doing on today? How y'all doing on today? I know I didn't come on here yesterday. I didn't come on here Sunday. Typically, the weekends is, is what it is. But welcome back, y'all. I didn't put the title, but this is a Q&A. For all the new people, uh, my name is Coach Brian holistic uh wellness and weight loss specialist so typically i come on here while i'm answering emails in between clients you know i'll do a little q a whatever y'all want to know we talk about it what's going on what's going on d what's going on d she said hey coach what's happening what's happening so yeah i'm just in the middle of like answering questions and whatever y'all want to talk about but special shout out to everybody that's been going and get the 10 day detox what's going on what's going on tam tam in the building uh, and I, I'm seeing a few of my clients up in here too. So if there's ever a point where like y'all want to come in and talk and share information about whatever, y'all let me know. I'll add y'all in here. But I just want to. What's going on, Ness? Um. So I basic I basically want to hop on here at first before we get anything started, and just like just to let y'all know to be encouraged. You know, it's like people just need to understand that we living in a time where we need as much information as possible. And I'm just trying to look. I'm just trying to help y'all out as much as possible. And I'm forever grateful that y'all choosing me. But I'm seeing the questions starting to roll in. Let's get it going. What do you know about growth hormones? Uh, Well, whatever you need to know about it, I can tell you about it. But I like to think of it as the pituitary glands. You know, a lot of people talk about like the growth hormones and, st- and or the HGH. You know, so when it comes down to the pituitary glands, that's really going to be your bread and butter of whether your metabolic system and anything that's growing within you or outside of you determines best to whatever's doing what you know so i like to tell people that if you're trying to have a stable pituitary gland if you're trying to have a stable thyroid system things of that nature you really want to get on a lot of nettles you really want to get on a lot of uh go to cola a lot of moss helps to iceland moss irish moss uh helps to kelp parsley um uh sarsaparilla is really really good for the pituitary glands as well you know but anytime you worry about growth hormones and putting your your body in a state of um balance that should really be the mindset that you're in when it comes down to necessarily flowing through those things and healing the body and a high uh, fruit volume diet would help help as well. What's going on, Bertha? How you doing? Weight loss after 50 help. Well, luckily for you, we have the one-on-one slots going on right now. A few of my clients are in here. They're watching, so you can even ask questions, and they can tell you. It's, it's a very – I hold you accountable, but I also give you literally everything that you need. Whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to get well, it doesn't matter. I literally do everything for you. You just have to apply it to your life. So it honestly doesn't matter what age you are. You know, I know things are, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but what I am saying is whenever you do tend to get a little bit older or if you do start to kind of go a little bit past what they call your prime, um, you know, the losing weight and gaining weight can be a little bit of a task, but that's because most people don't know the formula. We had a talk about, a week ago about um, macro micros, things of that nature, you know, being in a caloric surplus, maintenance and deficit. So no matter how old you are, how young you are, you know, there's everybody's biometrics are different. But what we do understand that we can all come to agreement in is whenever you are burning more energy than you are consuming throughout the day, you're going to lose weight. That's been the staple of the metabolic system since the beginning of time. And that's what it's going to be unless you have, you know, endocrine disorders, uh, pituitary thyroid disorders, things of that nature. But that can also be regulated with a good diet and a good herbal protocol. What's going on, Helen? How you doing? Lamita, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Information is knowledge. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. God bless you too, uh, Snell. I see you up in here. A lot of beautiful people up in here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hope y'all having a good day too, man. Like, bro, look, we living it. We living in days to where. And if y'all see me like kind of breaking off for a second, I just gotta answer these emails in between these questions. But um, but yeah, y'all. I'm I'm just like I said before. I'm just glad that y'all want the information. I'm just thankful that y'all want the information. A lot of people don't really care for it. A lot of people like to blame everything else but themselves as far as why things aren't working. But you know, so somebody said menopause. Uh, you not really tell me what about menopause, but what I can say is like, so you can think about men- menopause as the conclusion of the menstruation at the end of reproductive life, right? So between the years of uh, 45 and 50, it lasts about four years, depending on the person. So uh, your ovulation starts to fail, you know, hormonal, hormonal activity starts to wane, you know, your intervals between periods are a lot longer. Your periods may stop gradually or just suddenly become like just gone at the end of the day. So 
it's not and the symptoms you'll you'll witness they may not all be present at present at once but you know you get the high flushes you get the weight gain you get depression urinary frequency headaches back pains all that type of stuff but one thing i will say too is whenever you're entering the stage of menopause or you're trying to get through it just like we talked about with thyroids i oftentimes tell a lot of my clients you to focus on your thyroid function and your cardiovascular function so i'm not i don't treat it like anemia but i do attack the cardiovascular agents as though i'm trying to treat somebody with anemia because one thing i did notice with a lot of uh, my clients that do have menopause that cardiovascular uh system just did it just start it doesn't start to to go off and do nothing crazy but it just wasn't what it used to be and they need that they need that stability some people get excessive blood loss some people's stuff gets a little bit more coagulated it depends you know but things that uh herbs that you can pretty much use whenever you're going through menopause is um uh agnes uh agnes castus that's ovarian hormone uh, precursor um what's another one black hall that's a, a uterine relaxant you can use broom that's a gentle diuretic and a heart rest uh, restorative um uh you can use cleavers golden seal uh holonia uh holonias that's ovarian hormone precursor all things like that you know in lime flowers you can use uh nettles and parsley tea and raspberry leaves too that's really really good for the system but yeah it's menopause is something that can definitely be uh yeah, I would definitely want to be there for five o'clock. Um, menopause is definitely something that you can, you can, you can deal with, and that can definitely uh be treated. I don't want to make it sound like it's like a you know like a illness or nothing like that. I just I just want you to know that you can live with it and live through it. A lot of people hit that part and like, well, my life is over and I'm not as vibrant. It's a sign of me getting old and blah blah. Mm, not exactly. You just we just don't have we don't. We don't use the access to the common knowledge that we should be worried about whenever we get throughout life. You know, they tell us about the basic biology, the basic chemistry, things of that nature. But once you go inside of, you know, I tell people, study the anatomical structure, study more of the biological structure and how things move. And then you'll see as you get older is not that, oh, you're getting weaker X, Y and Z. It's more so, OK, your body. Does, I think about like a car. Right. So it's like the more miles you put on it. Yeah, you have to do more tune ups. You have to replace the oil. You have to replace the spark plug. Some parts got to get, you know dust it off or whatever and change and replace same thing with the human body we put miles and miles and miles and wear and tear on our body and that's okay but if you treat it well it's going to last you a long time you know nothing lasts forever but the better you treat it the better it rolls you know gut issues allergy to a lot of fruit um i used to what's your blood type i used to struggle with um gut issues not so much now fasting does a lot for me um glutamine does l-glutamine does a lot for me um a lot of fruit juice but you said you uh you're allergic to a lot of fruit juice so if you can't do fruit juice do vegetable juice you know well you said fruits you didn't necessarily say fruit juice if you can do fruit juices i would say do that but if not um vegetables and vegetable juices work just as well pull away from the gluten these this day and age there's gluten free this gluten free that you know there's a lot of gluten a lot of things that we do eat as well but at the same time pull away from all the gluten pull away from all the fast foods pull away from all the uh disaccharides and polysaccharides if you missed the live we talked i isn't this down in my page but we talked about that um a week or two ago started talking about the differences in uh good and bad sugars for the body as well so your body may be in a state of being either well it's probably too acidic if you're having gut problems it's probably too acidic you know and if you want to for like Let's do it one day on, two day off. Do like a teaspoon of like baking soda and some distilled off spring water. And then let your kidneys kind of get a chance to help kind of calm down a little bit and process a little bit too. But I feel like that's just, you know, some general stuff you can use. Uh, so then, oh, let me see. So then if my pituitary glands is not producing enough growth hormone, example, 0.458 numbers such as that, I should assume it's a metabolic issue. It depends because it can manifest in different types of waves. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's strictly a metabolic issue, but if you know for a fact that your growth hormone is underproducing and are overproducing, but we're going to say underproducing in this situation, then we need to understand that it can be a plethora of things that result from that. But what I oftentimes tell people to do, okay, it's a prime example. You already got your blood work done. Sounds like, okay, so Focus on the vitamins and minerals that you do not, that you're going to be lacking in or that you are lacking in. Okay, then you also focus on the herbs that we talked about earlier that's going to help rejuvenate the uh, thyroid and pituitary system. And then on top of, well, I'm saying on top of it, I go down. <laughs> but then you also have to focus on the diet because all of these things are based off of the state of homeostasis. You know, so once the numbers are off and the minerals are off and the diet is off, you can't find balance. But once you start fixing those things and putting it back to where they need to be, you'll be good. But if you do want to deeper dive into it, and if you do want to get some help, I'm always here. We got a special going on right now for one-on-one -on -one coaching. 
I got you. Hi, you're such a blessing. Thank you so much. Doing God's work. I'm good. Just started tuning in and I like what I hear. Thank you so much. And continue to like and share the uh, live and the content and stuff like that because I'm, I come from TikTok. You know, I, my first big blow up was in TikTok, but TikTok is too toxic. I'm sorry. So I came over here and I love the audience. I love the questions. I love how people move. I love everything about this platform. So most definitely continue to share the stuff. Just like making me look crazy. Continue to share the content. Continue to share everything and keep rocking with your boy. I'm not. I mean, I don't really plan on plan on leaving. What's God with God's blessings? We all bless big facts. What's your go-to drink slash tea for everyday overall health balance? Um, it depends, bro, because I'm, I'm so experimental. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I'm on a fast right now. So, well, slight intermittent fasting. I was going to do a whole week to two weeks, if not a month of just fruit juice. I was going to do grapefruit juice, uh, fasting, but I changed my mind and I'm just going to eat one meal a day. So the only thing I've been consuming from the morning time until I have my meal and even after my meal, uh, I'm going to do distilled water and i'm going to mix that when well, i mix it but in between when i'm not drinking distilled water i'm drinking grapefruit juice because that's just really good for my blood type it's really good for my stomach and i've been noticing a difference in my energy i've been noticing a difference in my performance in the gym i've been noticing my difference in performance in other areas um <laughs> but yeah i've been doing that that's my go-to right now but if i wasn't if i was to just be making teas i like to do herbal blends so like right now i'm on tongue of the uh i have damiana um you're in a purina i always butcher that word but i feel like you if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about um what's the other one i have in there oh i can't think of the other i have in there right now what's the other one hawthorne berry ginseng well panic ginseng i need to switch to siberian ginseng and that's it for right now i haven't been mixing them too much but that's pretty much what i've been focusing on other than my fruit juices just to kind of keep my energy levels up because i don't do well in cold i've learned i've learned that about my body i do not do well in cold seasons like i get lethargic you know my blood moves a little bit differently my energy levels move a little bit differently so i have to keep that energy i have to keep that vitality thank god we have herbs thank god we have fruit juice fruits in general you know and i'm a real sunshine type of person like when sun hits me i literally get happy i literally feel like something is just like i just feel it on my body absorbing it you know so it's like when it gets around this time and i'm from the south so whenever it gets cold and groggy it rains a lot and it's it's just a lot but um that's my go-to i don't want to keep bantering but that's that's my go-to what's going on saman do you have do you have even a fit body you dear we coach <laughs> so uh this is this is a this is a good i love stuff like this okay so I'm one of those people who believe in many forms of health, many forms of strength, many forms of wellness. You know, I don't feel as though you need to be 225, seven feet tall, huge, purely only muscle to be a, a athlete or like a wellness coach or any type of training or any type of whatever instructor, whatever, because everybody specializes in different things. This is honestly the biggest I've ever been in my life because all I've ever done before in my college career, my high school, whatever, I was always breaking records doing three miles two miles. I was a long distance runner. That's what I love to do. That's what my body has adapted to. And that's what I've grown into. I love it between that playing soccer, playing basketball, things of that nature. You know, so whenever you have ignorant people like this that come up in here and it's like, oh, well, you're small, you're weak and have yet to see me in the gym because I'm very, I'm very strong for my size. But I will also say, too, that it's rare that I run into other coaches or other people out here that, you know, well, how are you qualified to you don't look like blah, 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 blah. It's not about what I look like. It's about the results that I produce. It's about my actual currency of health right now. If I was to do a blood test and you was to do a blood test, I'm pretty sure you'll see that my minerals and you'll, pre you'll see all of my vitality in my body is pretty high. You know, I don't know about you. I don't know if we could say the same about you, but if you have the balls, if you have the goal to come in here and say something like that, when we're talking about wellness, when I'm obviously educated in the area, when you see the results of my clients, whenever I decide to participate and educate and heal in the lane that I do, and then you come in and salt like that, that just shows me that you're not as credible and you're not as open-minded as I would have hoped you were to start this conversation, but you know, teachers on if that's how you want to view it. You've never met me. You've never seen me. You don't know anything about me. If that's how you want to view it, that's on you and your closed mindedness and your judgment, however you want to approach it. But Hey bro, I wish you the best at the end of the day. I don't walk around with hate, but if you do that, that's on you fam. Uh, let's see any more questions. 
O positive is my blood type. My dad is O positive. When I tell y'all I'm so, I'm so like, I ain't going to say envious or jealous of y'all, but I wish I had y'all stomach. Y'all O types could eat. And I said it, and I, I said it before and I said it again, y'all could eat license plates and y'all will be good. Y'all will be, your body will do more than enough, more than enough. I'm AB. So I, I'm na- I naturally have like lower hydrochloric acid levels in my stomach, you know, so I can't eat the same as y'all. I can't function the same as y'all, but I did get a lot of the lymphatic systems of the A's and the B's and my, my dad's or my mom's B. So my immune system is pretty, pretty good. Any kind of baking soda? Um, the only one that they have that I know of down here is regular baking soda that people use to bake and things of that nature. So, and that's all I know of it. That's the only one I've ever used. So I'm not, I'm not going to suggest any particular brand, but just make sure <laughs> the most I can say is make sure that it's organic or organic, but natural, you know, baking soda. The ingredients should say baking soda. That's it. <laughs> Thank you for answering my questions. Anytime. Do the one-on-one coaching is so worth it. Hey, thanks D. She's one of my clients, by the way, y'all. She's. I, I love I love clients like her. She just gets it done. I was like, hey, you should blah blah blah. We should do this in the third. How you doing with this? I already did that. I already did that. Granted, we need to do better a little bit with the fruit juices, bringing your list of grocery stores. But other than that, I'm proud of you. You do you're doing a really really good job. Do the do the consultant. My body has changed so much since working with Coach Brian, and that's Miss T, y'all. Loyal Wise Virgo, that's Miss T, and she is that's my. She the she the person that wake me up. I like whenever I have my consultations with her. She going she gonna wake her brother up <laughs> every time, and always a good a good conversation. Uh, hypertension. So whenever it comes down to hypertension, I like to tell people that because we 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 say hypertension, we say high blood pressure. However you want to think about it, it's all the same thing. I think about it as quality of blood. Whenever you start approaching it, and I have this on my um, I have this on my my Instagram in my feed as well. Whenever you want to purify your blood or when you start to purify your blood, you'll notice that your kidneys don't have to work as hard. You'll notice that your diastolic, diastolic numbers will start getting a lot better. You'll notice that your blood pressure starts to get a lot better. Why? It's because the most times that you see people that have high blood pressure and things of that nature, they have a lot of levels of transverse fat, have a lot of levels of visceral and subcutaneous fat, a lot of fatty food, a lot of fat, fat food, a lot of fast food, a lot of greasy food. You know, like everything that they eat and most things that they're consuming is not really for the benefit of the body. You know, so you need to make sure that you're cutting down the salts, cutting out on the heavy meats, you know, eating. And if you're going to eat meat, cut back on the seasoning, but make sure you have a lot of leafy greens with it. Leafy greens do one prime example. Y'all ever wondered why back in slavery, like why certain foods were eaten a certain type of way? Our people didn't really come from a lot of meat eating, but that was the culture. That was the way that was everything that they had available in the slavery times and the environment that they drug our people to. So with that being said, prime example, you have honey glazed ham, right? All of that stuff comes from, okay, we get the ham. Ham is more prone to parasites because it comes from hogs and things of that nature. So they will slice the ham and you will put the garlic at the, well, you will put the, um, you put the honey, you will base it with honey and then put the garlic at the top. So the worms have to eat their way through to try to get to the honey. You know, they want to get to the honey, they want to eat through blah, blah, blah. And then when they, once they get to the garlic, it kills off the parasites, the worms and things of that nature. So then you clean off the ham or probably cook it however they want to do it. But then you cover, you come back, you put the honey X, Y, and Z on it. And then now you eat it like that. Or there was a lot of, see, like down here in the south, there's a lot of dandelion root. There's a lot of um, milk thistle around here. So when, and a lot of mustard greens too. So whenever you're eating all of the cows that they're making, uh, our ancestors eat a lot of the goats, a lot of all the meat, you have to battle that with leafy greens because that's going to help detoxify the system. That's going to help it digest a little bit easier. That's going to help refortify the stomach as well. Like we come from such a strong bloodline, but the things that we you know, between the inter the intimating of, of uh lineages, you know, like the different types of food that we eat, the different types of environment that's changed a lot of our biological chemistry. You know, but when you really sit down and think about where a lot of these eating habits and meals and recipes come from, it comes from things of that nature. But um going back to hypertension, I would definitely say there's a tea you can make for that. Um you get mistletoe, lime flowers, uh you infuse that or you can do it for like five to ten minutes, but drink like two to three cups a day of it, preferably well either before or after you eat depends i don't think you if you eating three times a day before or after but you know i would say do it like that you'll be pretty good hypertension overall what i'm saying is hypertension is basically the quality of you but start thinking about it as the quality of your blood the better you eat the more you exercise the more you sweat the more hydrated you are on a cellular level 
the less you have to worry about that because what comes with hypertension you got to think about it with the the um stiffening and the hardening of the arteries and the walls and things of that nature so the blood flow is constricted it can't slide it can't move how it want to it can't do what it has to do you know so you take the time to really dive in to really clean out the blood all of that stuff will go away all of that stuff will go away let's see do, 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 do. what's going on cole so do you juice your grapefruit? Yeah. And the times that I can't, there's a brand called, um, I have a bottle. Is it in here? What's that lady stuff called? Natalie's. Yeah. It's called Natalie's. It's an organic brand. Um, and I did all the research and stuff on it. She's like, she's based in Florida where well, they're based in Florida and cold press. Everything is cold press. So yeah, if I don't juice it myself, you know, I buy it from only, that's the only brand I've really been drinking. Honestly, I was on this German brand. I forgot the name of it. Cause something, <clears throat> it was a, it was a blueberry juice that cause I love blueberries. The blueberry juice I was drinking, but then I don't like the um. I just don't like the way they 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 started to process. I started seeing like how the processing of the juice started to change and stuff like that. I didn't really like that, and I noticed the difference that it had on my body because I would work out with my blueberry juice. It would be giving me like energy. It'd be giving me all, everything that I need. But I noticed it wasn't doing that after a while. I started double checking on the source and then how they was heating it up and Black Swansea. I was like, ah, oh, that ain't it. So I switched to Natalie's. And Natalie's is really, really, really good. Has been doing wonders, especially when I'm fasting, has been doing wonders for my body. First time here. Sounds amazing. Can I fast? I'm diabetic and would like to detox, but I'm scared. So oftentimes when I tell people to fast, I would say this. If you're going to, if you're, you see, you see pre-diabetic or diabetic, you're diabetic. So focus on fruits that are on the low, gly, on the low side of the uh, glycemic index. So go on the lower side. I would say start doing fruit juices. Also, there's an herb called bilberry, B-I-L. B E R R Y Billberry. Get on some Billberry. Um, you should start. You should actually start fasting and detoxing. That's going to actually help you out tremendously. And the body only. We talked about this the other day too. I have the videos uh, in my feed down below after the live. You should go check it out. But we talked about the difference between monosaccharides, poly, and disaccharides. One is a simple sugar that can be broken down that doesn't require a lot of cortisol, if barely any cortisol, to actually be processed and it benefits the body. The other requires immense amount of cortisol, which damages the adrenal glands, which damages the kidneys, which damages the pancreas, which damages the liver. So and, and the bladder somewhat, too. So anytime those things are getting all jacked up, then, yeah, you have to switch to something that your body can actually function with. We only get problems and we only get these these imbalances whenever we start putting things inside of our body or on our skin because our skin is, is porous. So we absorb everything that's on there when th when things start coming inside our body that the body doesn't know what to do with. So either it stores it like it does with excessive fat or it tries to release it in the best way that it knows how or it just tries to do something with it. The body, the body, the body is going to always do what's best for itself, regardless of what you have to think or say about it. It's only trying to save itself. So you have to give it something to work with. It's only going to do what it can with what it has. Let's see. He can help you. Do a consult with him. Yeah, link link in my bio, y'all. If y'all want to sign up, link in my bio. Like, either you want to do wellness, weight loss, it doesn't matter. Link in my bio. Y'all set up a consultation with me. The first consultation is free. When you want to onboard with me, everything is free. We sit down and we talk about should you be a fit, X, Y, and Z, and then you decide if you want to sign up. We got a special going on right now, so hop on in. I work third shift so what time do i fast i'm trying to get off of third i think it's i don't so you saying third but i don't know no, i don't know nothing about i haven't worked a nine to five in a while so i don't know what third shifts mean well i'll say this if you're going too fast there's different ways to fast there's wet fasting and there's dry fasting and there's mono fasting so my bad there's three there's wet fasting uh dry fasting and mono fasting so mono fasting is if somebody is going to do like what dr robert morris does when he has a lot of cancer uh patients and he tries to treat them grapes they're eating grapes for like 60 90 days that's mono fasting eating the same thing over and over he uses grapes because they're highly astringent they go in and they clean the body on a deep uh tissue cellular level that's why he he does that for that you have wet fasting which is whether you want to do water herbal water um or well, infuse i'll say infuse water um you can do um I used to do chlorophyll water, distilled water at a time. That's how I used to fast with it. Within it. it did wonders for me, but I wasn't on too long. But you can do fruit juices, things of that nature. And then you have dry fast when you're not consuming anything. I oftentimes tell people, if unless you've prepared, thoroughly prepared for a dry fast, don't do it. If you've never wet fasted before, wean yourself in, into it. Do mono into wet. 
And if you've never done any of whatever, just do mono fasting first. Just because it's very beneficial, I know it's trendy and it looks good and people healing and blah, 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 blah. Remember that you are an individual. Your body is different. So, yes, you will see the benefits in X, Y, Z, but find what works best for you and work your way up the detoxification ladder. Because if you just try to go into it, guess what? You know what they don't tell y'all? Yeah, they tell y'all detoxing and fasting, all that stuff is good for y'all. But you know what they don't tell y'all? Detox symptoms. And sometimes detox symptoms can trigger another sickness, which can make it even worse. Because sometimes if the pathways aren't open to get things out, you're rattling things up and you're moving it around to come out. But they don't know they can't get out. You don't use the you don't use the bathroom every day. You know your bowel your bowel movements are highly irregular. Your mineral levels are all over the place. You can get dehydrated. You can pass out. You can become severely constipated you can develop toxemia it's a lot of different things to it so take your time i'm not trying to scare nobody but i want to make you aware take your time I'm not saying it won't work but take your time and be mindful and if you have questions ask people like me there's people like yaki awakening um dr melanie stevens ginger the clue uh body love by tell um becoming blessing b y'all go check everybody's stuff out y'all ask whoever y'all feel safe as with and y'all come on and, and let's do this the right way but we don't want to see nobody getting hurt we don't want to see nobody just grabbing a trend and then it's like oh well you know i suffered like prime example i remember midway through this year i want to say there was a big parasitic um i want to say it was in it was in march march i want to say it was like a big parasitic of fast slash detox trend going on Everybody started doing it. Everybody was running crazy with the papaya seeds. Does that in the third? Not saying that they don't work, but not everybody's body was ready for it. And then when they ran into a detox symptom, they blamed it on the holistic community. They blamed it on the whatever community. And I'm just sitting there like, and they started saying, oh, it's pseudoscience and blah, blah. I was like, no, y'all just took, y'all saw a trend. Y'all didn't do y'all research. Y'all just jumped into it. And y'all thought it was going to be, oh, I'm going to get fixed and blah, 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 blah. Not even knowing if you have anything or not. And then you ran into a problem, awakening something else reasons why i like like you can ask any one of my clients everybody has the cus has a custom protocol not one person's protocol and our macros our micros are exactly the same everybody so i treat everybody differently because everybody has a different medical uh whether it be underlying or uh current medical conditions we have to attack it that way you know your body best you know what you struggle with you know what you, what you do well within your or how your body how well your body does don't do something on social media that you're not aware of. Don't do something that you know your body is not going to accept. Don't do anything if you don't have the, the information for it. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, y'all. I'm not trying to discourage nobody. I would, I want y'all to dive into this stuff because that's going to push us as a community even further. You'll be surprised how much of your creative side and how much of your athleticism and how much of your wellness is, is blocked because you just don't fast from month to month, from season to season. If y'all been with me since earlier this year, when we did our um, spring equinox detox together, we did that for like, what, about a month, I want to say, going into the spring equinox. And e and everybody that stuck with me, everybody that did it, oh, my God, I had money coming out of nowhere. Oh, my God, my body changed. Oh, my God, I'm off of this medicine. Oh, my God, my child doesn't suffer with this no more. My insomnia is gone. The ADHD is gone. Yeah, you have to cleanse yourself. There's a reason why people like us offer the services that we do, but we're not. We're, that's one thing y'all never see on my page. I'm not going to give y'all just, even when we're on the lives, I'm not going to just be on here like, oh, well, this is the only thing that works and this is how it works. No. Like, this is, you're going to ask me questions about hypertension. I'm going to tell you my opinions on it. I'm going to give you a basic tea recipe that I know that's going to benefit you, but it's going to also push your body to want to detoxify and crave the better things in life. And if you have more questions, y'all know I'm always here for it. So, you know, that's what we have. With a great question, by the way. Not license plate. Yes, license plate. And you know what I'm talking about because you are old type. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all could eat pretty much anything. I'm new here. What do you do? My name is Coach Brian. I'm a, a weightness and wellness uh, coach specializing in all that holistic stuff. So holla at your boy. But we're doing a Q&A right now. Anytime you see me go live, feel free to ask any questions, any type of questions. Keeps teaching. You're doing great things. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. I study to show myself approved. You know, the only person I'm in competition with or comparison with is myself. Pray every day, study every day, apply every day. That's how we win. That's how you win. This is great information. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Bertha. Holistic coaching. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. What's up, Sean? Sean in the building. What's up? Hey, Sean David. Uh, Y'all go look him up. Sean David msx if you haven't commented yet sean i haven't scrolled down to the bottom please comment your name and stuff like that sean is a prolific grammy nominated music 
uh, music artists who I've had the privilege to go to college with, you know, to meet and become friends with, to go on tour with. Amazing guy, amazing music, amazing songwriting. I hope he brings back his radio station uh, live he was doing. That was amazing. But he just dropped some music uh, not too long ago. I'm about two to 3,000 plays of all of those songs because I'm a big fan as well. But y'all, please go follow my homeboy. Like, he's really, really good at what he does. Immensely good at what he does. There he go. <laughs> me, let me know what's up, bro. I'm going uh, to pin his comment, y'all. Y'all go follow him. Y'all go follow him. What's the deal with alkaline water? I made a post about it maybe a week ago, week and a half, about two weeks ago. And I, I lit, and I ain't going to lie, I was in my feelings a little bit when I made the video. So I started off with, I think it's a scam. But I wasn't referring to all alkaline water. I was referring to the ones that all they do is infuse it with certain forms of potassium, and that's it. Not to say that it's not doing a trick, but what I will say is you would do better. You would do way, way better with just making sure that you're drinking spring and or distilled water. Because there is some alkaline water out there that works, but it's just the best form of water. And when you start drinking water from the real source, of course, it's going to be alkaline. I would hope it's not acidic. You know, but when you start drinking stuff that's been distilled, that's been regulated, X, Y, and Z, you're going to have those type of things. But my stance on it now is that if you can find one that's properly sourced and properly alkalized and it's not forced into alkal uh, alkalinity, you'll be good. And it, it does wonders for the electricity within the body. What's good to detox the body? I made a video about, about y'all need to just start going through my page. Well, maybe you might be new to here. I'll say, I'll just keep saying it. Just go look at the videos I have because I talked about this, uh... Same, not think about it. I had the same shirt on about it was last week, same shirt on, but um, I was talking about sweat that day. So, one of the best ways to do it is to sweat a sauna box. Anytime you're trying to lose weight, anytime you're trying to purify the body, anytime you're trying to get toxins out, people sleep on sweating. The skin is technically the third kidney. You let things in, you let things out. Sweat a lot of fruit juice, a lot of exercise, and not even really just like lifting weights and stuff like that to get the lactic acid rolling. Then you have to really do that stretch, walk. You know, do yoga, do Tai Chi, stuff like that. A lot of fruit juice, a lot of um vegetables, a lot of high fruit volume uh diets. Uh, get off of the. Well, actually, like we talked about fasting, we just finished talking about fasting not as long ago. Those are the most beneficial way we talked about. Um, mono fasting, wet fasting, and dry fasting. I hope you wasn't here when we was talking about that. But those are the top three ways to see any form of success when it comes out to detoxification of the body. And if you haven't done it before and you want a safe, easy way to do it, I have a 7 and a 10-day 10, uh, 10 protocol in my shop. Go to coachbrian.com or hit the link in my bio. And the reason why I made it is because I want to guide people through it. I didn't want people to just like be like, oh, well, here's the answer, blah, blah. No, I want to guide you through the proper ways to start and finish a simple, clean detoxification to get the process going in so you can see what it actually feels like to start that process. I mean, ultimately, well-balanced diet, well-balanced life, moving around, a lot of sunlight, a lot of, a lot of herbs. That's really the best way to stay not only detoxed, quote unquote, but stay healthy and be well. But if you need something now, that's what I would advise you to do. Let's see. Good questions today, y'all. Really good questions today. I'm a loyal Virgo as well. How can I sign up with him? Um, so one love C902. You can just slide in my DMs or you can book a consultation in the link in my bio and you get the one-on-one -on -one coaching. We'll talk about all the details from there. And I would advise you to do it this month because we have a special going on. Once January hit, I don't do the new year new me thing. Either we start now or we start now. That's just how I roll. How many times should we go to the bathroom? It depends. It depends. Like somebody like me, I'm doing, like I told you earlier, I'm doing a slight form of intermittent fasting, but I notice when I take a lot of aminos and a lot of herbs at one time, I'm going back and forth to the bathroom. So it depends. I would say if you're talking about number two rather than number one, then it depends on how many, uh, how much food you're eating within the day and look at, I know people think it's kind of weird to do that, but look at what comes out. Is it a reflection of the food that you've been eating throughout the day? If it's our prime example, Reasons why I like to fast here and there is because, like, if I feel backed up or if I feel as though my digestive system is sluggish a little bit, you'll be surprised what you still have within you when you don't eat for a day or two. And you only just hydrating with fruit juice and water and things of that nature. And then you go to use the bathroom and you'll see two days later, well, I'm still using the bathroom. Yeah, you've been backed up. You know, so reset your body first. Or if you don't feel like doing that, just pay attention to the frequency. Okay, when I eat at this time, I don't have a bowel movement to this time. When I don't drink enough water at this time, I don't have a bowel movement to this time. Honestly, you should have a bowel movement every time you eat or one in reflection of the amount of food that you've eaten for the day. But that's just my personal opinion. 
Let's see. Tamara up in here doing good work. <laughs> I only go once a day, and that's in the morning time, which isn't a bad thing. But like I said, is it a reflection of the things that you've been eating? If you go on once a day, that may not necessarily be a bad thing. But if it ain't looking like the however many X amount of meals you ate throughout the day, then I ain't going to say that's a problem, but you should address that or you should, you know, figure it out. Some people say one or two days. I mean, some people say two to three days in between is normal. Some people say blah, blah, blah. I don't like that. I've taken too much time to clean out my stomach and deal with this sensitive stomach and with others to realize that you should be going at least once a day, you know gotta be regular a prime example would you be concerned if let's think about it this way if you just had a child and a child can't even walk yet would you be concerned if your child didn't if you didn't have to change one diaper at all like your child let's say your child's about like okay let's give it some more time child been on the earth for roughly six to nine months maybe a year let's do a year the child has been on the planet for a year and you had and you notice that Every day goes by. You're not really changing diapers until every other day. That wouldn't that wouldn't like, okay, what's going on with my child? That, that wouldn't be the first thing that comes to your mind. So why is that acceptable for us whenever we get older, whenever we're adults, I should, I should say? You know, because if we think about it from a child, when they first get here, they should be in their most infant and pure state, right? When all the glands and everything are developing, but they're firing at their, their heart. It's they're like everything's primal and is rolling. It should be good, right? So if we expected them to have a bowel movement every day, why we don't expect that from ourselves? If we make sure that they're hydrated and fed every day, why we're not doing that to ourselves? If we're making sure that they're well rested and taking, you know what I'm saying? You got to, come on, we got to piece it together. It, it ain't, I ain't, I ain't saying this to you when I say this, but I'm just going to say this. It ain't that deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to be regular. No problem. No problem. She said, thank you. No problem. What can I do for joint aches? Um, There's a cream called Tiger Balm, I believe, that I use when I used to run track a lot for my joints. But I would, I would say it depends, too. It depends on your joints and why the uh, pains are there. You know, a lot of people may suffer with joint pain, whether it be sciatica, maybe it be nerve damage, whether my computer's going to sleep, whether it be, um, it could be a plethora of things. You know, but you just have to make sure that not only are you stretching and moving around every day and you're building those cartilages, not cartilages, you're building those ligaments and muscles and things like that, but you're also hydrating yourself on a cellular level. But herbs like um, stinging nettle root is really good for the nervous system. Um, go to cola, uh, ginkgo biloba, and what's another one? Burdock root. It's really, really good for stuff like that. How much is the second consultation? So once you join my program, the consultations are included within the program, but it depends on if you decide to join. Cause you have some people that just, just schedule wellness uh, consultations with me here and there. Those are like 99. Cause you want my, you want my time. I'm sorry. Like, is that's going to be, I was worth of my time. It's about $99. But if you sign up with my program, you see me at least once a week, you get macro micro charting, you get custom protocols, things of that nature. And that's all included within, cause it's a monthly subscription. You're getting coached. It's not like you just get a one consultation. Like if you want to do just one consultation, that's different. Cool. You do it like that. But if you want to sign up for the program, that's different. The program is, a, uh, is at its least form is a 12 week program. And I'm walking you and designing a structure and a program for you to not only lose weight, but to get well. Ask the two clients that I have up in here right now. They'll tell you exactly how it is. We gets the job done. Why are you so handsome? Cause my mama made me like this and my daddy and my fiance made me like this. Well, she didn't make me like that, but you know, she's, she's enjoying this, <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm so handsome. Dun, 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 dun. Give me a second. It just came in. I'm low key still Christmas shopping. So y'all don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'll be waiting for different emails for people that saying such and such has been shipped and I need to get in contact with this person, blah, 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 blah. So don't judge me. Do not judge me. If you're judging me, you, you're judging you're judging yourself because I am you and we all one. <laughs> Y'all, I'm full of it yet. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let me get some of these questions. Eczema. So I oftentimes tell people that eczema is actually um, a stomach problem. A lot of people look at me crazy when I say that, but... Everybody that has had eczema has come to me and we, we started addressing the stomach and when we started addressing, cause most of my eczema, most of the people that come to me that have eczema, they either constipated, they have no, they, their diets are trash or they have hormonal imbalances. So I oftentimes tell people 
You have to get away from the cheese. You have, I'm going to say it again because I know it hurt. You have to get away from the cheese. Eczema, especially that dry eczema, the horrible eczema, your lymphatic and your your um digestive system is trash or is stagnant. It's very, very, very stagnant. You know, so cow's milk. Let's talk about milk and let's talk about cheese. The body doesn't know how to process that properly. It goes inside of our system. It gets all sticky. It coagulates the wrong way. You got herbicides and pesticides and stuff like that. You know, and a prime example, you'll see people switch, with eczema switch to like goat milk or uh, soy milk, things of that nature. You know, and all of that plays a big role in effective treatment. But dairy, uh, dairy produce, eggs, cow's milk, uh, a lot of heavy meats, a lot of that stuff has to do with eczema because the body cannot process it properly. You know, so you start seeing like that redness. Uh, if you have a lighter skin, um, a lot of skin tone, you'll see more like that redness, that itchy dryness, that flaky look, or you'll have like that real. Cause I used to have, not used to have, but it was trying to come. I had like eczema or forms of eczema right here when I was younger. Now I'm from the South. They, they try to put aloe vera on everything down here. It did help. I will say it did help. But as I'm getting older and as I'm studying more and helping people with it, I'm not saying it don't work. But what I am saying is get you some bladder whack, <laughs> get you some Gota Cola, get you some cleavers and get you some red clovers. Make that a tea. Drink that. Get off of the cheese. Get off the milk and fast for a little while. And also whatever topical lotions you want to put on yourself that helps do that. And you'll be good because I'm not even going to go into dermatitis, but I will say that you'll see a drastic difference in it when you switch your diet up. Most people that switch their diet up get a lot more clean, a lot more fruits, a lot more vegetables. Uh, even burdock root, if you want to add that up in there too, you will see a big difference. You will see an immense difference in your skin. But that's just me though. Oh, and sweating. Get a sauna box. Let all that stuff out. Because all it, be, even, okay, a lesser form of that. When you think about acne in general, yeah, we talk about sebum and things like that and the subcutaneous fat in the skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. But at the end of the day, I think about it like this. So my body has skin. Things go in and out of my skin because I have pores, right? So if I'm not eating the best and I'm constantly constipated and it can't get out, and I notice that, like, I also, I can't use the bathroom, but I also my stomach's all crazy, but I'm starting to get all this acne and stuff like that. Well, that's a sign that my body's taking a poop on itself. Most people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. It's like the body's going to find a way to heal itself and get stuff out of there. So what I have to do is I have to clean out my, my stomach. I have to try to balance my hormones because I'm eating stuff that's probably whacking me up or I'm on medicine or something like that that's whacking me up. And I need to get on some type of herbal tea. And once I do that and I eat better, and then, oh, a fruit flush, oh, a vegetable flush, oh, I'm moving around, I'm sweating a little bit more, it starts to go away. Everybody likes to ask me, what's your skin routine? What's your this, that, and the third? Your skin looks amazing with a filter and without a filter. I love fruit juice. I love water. I love to run and work out and sweat. I ha I, I can't even, I don't even know what to tell y'all when it comes out with acne creams and more. I'll be lying to y'all if I would say, oh, well, put this on your face. and But I don't know. I might have had if one or two breakouts in my lifetime, but I notice when I'm not eating the best, when I'm having my cheat days and stuff like that, I see a little bump or two when I'm on it and I'm doing the things that tend to work best for my body. I'm using a bathroom every day. I'm good. All that type of stuff and floss and brush your mouth too. That plays a role into it. Floss your mouth, wash your mouth, do it. An oil pool. Either you can use um, coconut oil or clove oil. Wash your mouth. Get that bacteria up out of there because all that plays a role too. And yeast build up. All that stuff that's in here has to digest and go. It's all one system. Even though it's separate, it's all one system. Take care of that and you'll see all that stuff start to go away. Uh, let's see. Where can I get Bilberry from? Star West Botanicals is a good website for that. Um, you can go on Amazon, type in Bilberry, USDA, organic. And you can either get it in a tincture form, you can get the actual bilberry, or you can get it in capsule form. I like the tea form. You get the kind of way you can steep it or get the tincture form. Works best. Liquids hit the blood a lot faster. A lot faster. Uh, how do I get a hold of you? I have no idea what that means, but the link in my bio. <laughs> um, Let's see. I'm new. Any suggestions on helping increase in memory? Uh, ginkgo biloba ginkgo biloba there's a man if y'all could research it i wish i could pull up on here but i'm on live so y'all wouldn't i wouldn't be able to screen share it there's a tree i believe it originated in uh in china 
there's a beautiful ginkgo biloba tree and uh i want to say it's in okinawa japan i saw a picture of it looks immaculate and it is stories tall and it's one of the most stapled herbs in, and yeah, they talk about go to go to go to cola, but ginkgo biloba also helps with memory. It helps with brain function, brain uh, the metabol the metabolic reactions in the brain, all that, and even the vagus nerve system. Y'all, you can't go wrong with that. Go to cola plus um, let's see, go to cola, ginkgo biloba, and stinging nettle root. You mix those three together, you'll be good. You'll be really, really, really good. Let's see. Oh, you from Louisiana too? What's happening? What's happening? What herb is for energy? Siberian ginseng. Siberian ginseng. And get your vitamin B complex if need be. But you want energy? Siberian ginseng will have you tearing holes through concrete. Especially if you eat right and do right. If it hits your system like that, oh, it's a wrap. You're going to be all day and not and not and i'm exaggerating it's not in a bad way but you're gonna have that that vital you know you're gonna have that feeling throughout the day let me say that before i scare somebody first time on your live what's good for anemia what's good for skin problems doctors say not eczema well i hope you was in here when we were talking about eczema and i hope you was up here when we were talking about heart health but um i'm gonna keep it kind of broad with anemia because anemia one thing i learned throughout the years is there's different many different forms of it so i would say for sure hawthorn berry sarsaparilla burdock root that's three really good herbs that you can use that'll help not only keep your blood moving but keep you moving um but i will also say too you got to eat a lot of leafy greens i'm gonna i'm gonna burn y'all dead to the ground with this one fruits and fruit juices <laughs> but a lot of leafy greens too um and just have a well-balanced diet you'll see a big big difference in it some people you know fully recover from it and heal from it some people don't it just depends on their bodies and, and their process everybody's different but i I do find that those two to three factors always help with all of my clients. What do you think about probiotics? I'm still thinking about it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I, one minute I'm on the fence, one minute I'm against it, one minute I'm with it. Because the science of probiotics is moving so quick. I'll, I'm finding new article, articles every time I look up something. So if you must be on them, cool. But do know that you know you should couple that if you're on it with things that like a good diet and a lot of sweating like we talked about before the ultimate goal is balance you balance with that you balance with everything else that you need you should be fine do you sell herbs not yet but when i do watch out because my plan is i don't want to just source and sell herbs i want to sell formulas like I want to, cause you know, Dr. Robin, Moore, all of them got their own little patent forms that in the third, but I noticed everybody's stuff different. A lot of similarities, a lot of stuff different. I can't wait until I can have my own formula. That's one thing I want to add to my protocols, not to my protocols, to my, um, my clientele work. Like I have clients that have, um, thyroid issues that have, uh, uh, reproductive issues and X, Y, and Z. I would love for them to sign up with me and have a month to month subscription with me that get all of these services. And you get some herbs in there, dog, <laughs> dog. That's gonna be amazing. That's that's gonna be something I can't wait to do once I have the capability to do so, because I would definitely be able to not only give you the protocols, supply you with the things I give you with the protocols, and walk you through it precisely. Plus, you get to check in with me weekly, and we get to track it. And I get, to, bro, bro, y'all, the stuff that be in his brain. Watch when I, cause watch when I get the finances. Watch when I'm able to grow my own. Y'all ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be lit. And if you do the coaching, you get to ask all your random questions via text. Yes, we do have a support line. And I'm pretty much checking it all day, every day. And yes, she does utilize it, especially now. You was quiet at first, but you use it now. Uh, Let's see. Bye-bye, Derry. Yeah. Yeah. No cheese. I'm vegan. Good. Real good. Real good. Well, good for you. I ain't going to say real good. It's different for, like, B types. They're actually pretty decent with cheese. That don't really affect them like talking about, but I feel you. Argentina hit the finalists. I'm a Brazil fan, but Argentina, shout out to Argentina. I knocked all my charges over. <laughs> How can I unclog arteries naturally and control diabetes without taking metformin? So you must not have been here earlier when we talked about, um, excuse me gonna come out or no i'll be having these random moments where i want to like cough and or like i don't know but it'd be going away but that's what happens whenever there you go <clears throat> it'd be happening whenever i i uh right after i do all of my herbs but then i take like some amino sometimes 
which means I probably need to pull back from it a little bit, but I like the benefits of it. So I, I'm just be being greedy sometimes. But anyways, um, I forgot the question that fast. Unclog arteries naturally and control diabetes. Okay, so start first thing you should do is distilled out spring water with a pinch of Kanye in it, the pepper. Get the uh the crushed up um powder, put that in there, stir it up around, and if you could warm it too, that'd be clutch. Chug that down real quick. That's gonna help. That's a it's gonna help immensely with your circul uh, circulatory system. But like we talked about earlier, a lot of that stuff has to do with diet a lot of that stuff has to do with the things that you're putting within your system so quality of blood rather than the high or low pressure of the blood is what you should be concerned with so if my if my arteries are clogged if my cholesterols my ldls my hg all that type of stuff if all that stuff is all high and it's bad and i have clogged arteries x y and z i need to take a step back and i need to be like okay what am i eating because you can take whatever medicines you want to take to fix the problem but it's not going to fix the problem if what you did to get, not saying you, but if what the person did to get to that problem is still being or is still happening, is what I should say. So what I would advise you to do is take a step back, look at what you're eating, all the fried food, processed food, fast food, ditch that, get away from that, hydrate yourself, a lot of fruit juice, a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, lean meats if you're going to eat uh, eat a lot of meat, it's fish here and there, do what you got to do. Um, Kanye water, like I was talking about. Um, what else we had talked about uh, earlier? We had talked about mistletoe. We said mistletoe, lime flower, and I forgot what was the other herb. I was on a roll earlier. I forgot what the other herb I uh, suggested too. But all of those, all of those things play a big role. But ultimately, it's going to be the diet. You can also get on. No, I'm not even gonna suggest that. That's gonna open you up too fast. No, butcher's broom is another good one. Uh, you have cheat days. I I do, but I don't. My version of cheat days is different. It's like I'll have, I don't even know how to, cause I don't really be craving. I don't eat candy and stuff like that's not my thing. My version of cheat days is like, I had a piece of bread. <laughs> like, like that's, that's a version of a cheat day to me. It's like, I'll have a piece of bread. I have like, cause I like the, even though it's not, it's y'all, it's not good for us at all, but I do, I will, I'm from the South y'all. So certain things is just always around me. I don't eat a lot of it. But like there's like a raisin cinnamon bread that they make down here and it's so good. But I can't eat it a lot. I can't eat a lot. So when I do have cheat days, that that's my version of cheat day. Um let's see. A few more questions and I'm up out of here, y'all, because I still got content to make. Uh D underscore Peth. You should definitely DM me. What type of fruit juice? I'm diabetic. Any fruits that's on the lower side of the glyc of the uh glycemic index scale. Those are the safe fruits for y'all to juice. Don't go to nothing crazy on the high end. You're gonna be jacked up. Got maybe one or two more questions, y'all. Will this video be available after the live is over? For sure. I post all my lives. All of them. So I can always go back and study. I like studying myself. I go back and see what I could have said better, what I could have um organized better if I could have spoke better in a certain, you know, whatever. So yeah, they always up here. Yes, this live will be single. <laughs> Not Tam Tamra need to be my moderator. <laughs> oh man. One more question, y'all. One more question. She said cinnamon raisin bread, I'll take it. You funny. Yeah, hey, it is what it is. Um This is my last question, y'all. They say Himalayan salt is really good for your digestion system. It is. But uh, I haven't really been throwing salt in my water. Honestly. I always tell people glutamine, L glutamine are just like fine, like start diving into soups. Start diving into vegetable broths and stuff like that. Start diving into fruit juice. You'll be surprised how that stuff really just regulates you because you just needed the proper amounts of sugars and oxygen mixed within your system to get things rolling again. But that was my last question because I have content to make and I have rehearsal tonight. So um, with that being said, the last two things I'll say. One, if you have any questions, if you want to sign up uh, with the special that we have going on for the coaching, even if you just want a consultation, the link is in my bio or message me. I check my message requests every day. Either you get blocked or you get approved because some people be in my DMs with foolishness and I love hitting the block button. So that's one. Two, I do have detox protocols and things like if you go to coachbrian.com or if you hit the link in my bio, all of my holistic protocols are there. I have some for high blood pressure. I have some for digestion, constipation. I have my seven and 10 day detox that everybody knows me for that will help you not only lose weight, but detoxify your body on a safe, progressive manner. Y'all go check that out. Y'all keep showing love. I pray that y'all keep on sharing this stuff. 
comment and get the word out about me and stuff like that you know i don't really know how to go about the algorithm and stuff like that like i used to because tiktok and instagram is different but i do know that what i have been doing has been working so i'm gonna keep going live i'm gonna keep making cert certain type of content and i'm gonna keep advertising how i'm advertising now <laughs> so but thank y'all so much we grew to 105,000 followers in 30 days from i think i started off with like 2300 Thank y'all for that. Thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for always coming here and asking questions. Thank y'all so much for y'all time because y'all don't have to be here. Y'all can be somewhere else doing whatever y'all want to do. But I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart from really being here, for supporting me, learning, and doing what y'all have to do. Once again, I'm Coach Brian for all the new people. I specialize in wellness and weight loss. I'm a holistic coach. I love you guys, and I pray you have a great day, and I wish the best for you. Y'all have a good one. Look at all the hearts coming in. Thank y'all. Man, y'all the best. Y'all the best, bro. Thank y'all so much. But I'm out this thing, y'all. I'm out this thing. Y'all have a good one.